special holiday edition of CNN Newsroom, and we're beginning with breaking news. A new and alarming coronavirus variant with an unusually high number of mutations causing it to spread rapidly has now sparked concern among experts all around the world. This variant also showing the ability to evade immunity. It was first detected in South Africa, and so far several other places, such as Belgium, Hong Kong, and Israel, have confirmed cases. In Europe, travel restrictions are being weighed against seven African countries, six of those already being added to the UK's red list. All flights from those locations suspended. Today, the World Health Organization meets to determine how they should classify the new variant. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony Fauci says despite there being no indication the variant is in the U.S., we need to be prepared to take proactive measures. First of all, you want to find out if, in fact, it does evade the vaccines that we're doing. I mean, there's always the possibility of doing what the U.K. has done, namely block uh, 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 trans, uh, uh, of travel from South Africa and related countries. We don't know that. That's certainly something you think about and get prepared to do. You're prepared to do everything you need to do to protect the American public. But you want to make sure there's a basis for doing that, and that's what we're doing right now. Now, all of this comes as global markets are rattled by fear of the new variant. Uh, taking a look now, uh, you see that the, they're all down right now, all of the markets down by a considerable amount, two percentage points down in the Dow Jones there. We are covering this from all angles. Let's bring in CNN senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen, CNN international correspondent David McKenzie is in Johannesburg, and CNN business reporter Matt Egan is in New York. Elizabeth, let's start with you. What more do we know about this new variant? So, Jessica, to put this in some perspective, variants have come and gone throughout this entire pandemic. Most of them don't really mean anything. They're not that different from what we've seen before. But every so often, there's one that rears its ugly head and takes over the planet. The Delta variant would, of course, be the one that would be top of mind in that category. We don't know which category this new one is going to fall into. Will it sort of peter out? It affects countries sort of in and around uh, South Africa, or will it take to the world stage? Let's take a look at what we know so far about this variant. So it doesn't even have a name yet, you know, one of those Greek letters, because it's not officially a variant of concern or of interest. So it's just called B11529. Here's the problem. It's got more than 30 mutations in the spike protein. That's what South Africa researchers say. The spike protein is such an important part of the virus. It's how it does its work to get into our cells. The vaccine is designed to work on the spike protein. If there's too many very mutations in that protein in too many places, that could be bad news for the vaccine. Now, the UK, Germany, Japan, and other countries have already restricted travel from South Africa. Now, one thing that I'll note is that when variants have come along, like let's say Delta, the vaccine didn't work quite as well against Delta as it did against previous versions of the virus, but it did still work. And that's why it's so important to get vaccinated and to get boosters. Let's take a listen to what Dr. Anthony Fauci told CNN earlier today. First of all, you want to find out if, in fact, it does evade the vaccines that we're doing. I mean, there's always the possibility of doing what the UK has done, namely block uh, uh, trans, uh, uh, of travel from South Africa and related countries. We don't know that. That's certainly something you think about and get prepared to do. You're prepared to do everything you need to do to protect the American public. But you want to make sure there's a basis for doing that, and that's what we're doing right now. Dr. Fauci also has emphasized the importance of getting boosters, which are now available to everyone over the age of 18 or 18 and older. Now, it's interesting to note there was another variant, the beta variant, that was first spotted in South Africa uh, towards the end of last year. There was a lot of worry about that one, too, but it never sort of went on the world stage. It was in a smattering of countries. It never became like Delta. Let's hope that's the case for this one, but we just don't know at this point. Jessica? Yeah, we certainly hope so, but great perspective, Elizabeth. Thanks.